So I was playing uh, Warriors of Chaos versus Ogres game recently. As you can see, it's not it's not going my way. And in a last ditch effort to um, turn this game around, I throw Colex Sun Eater, 66 melee attack, 28 bonus versus large, taking his melee attack to 86 plus 8, feeling stupid, 94. 94 melee attack versus the 48 melee defense of the Slaughtermaster, and um, it gets a little silly. Swing, maybe miss, maybe hit. I think the final trans is doing the damage, not the not the, the attack there. And Kolek turns back. Miss. 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 And he's getting torn apart by lead vultures this whole time and the slaughter bass just walks away. And from there, I don't think I can win the game. I'm just too behind in too many aspects and I can't get to the slaughter master. <laughs> God damn it, Colek. <laughs> Papa Palpatine's Colex Sun Eater always hits. He's the best boy. Human boy's Colex Sun Eater never hits. <laughs> what a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it was very funny. <laughs> I just love that game. Cause I was talking to my chat at the time and I was like, uh, I think we're screwed. We're just gonna have to all in. Hope we can kill their lord and just chain route them because they have low leadership without their, their lord. And then I chucked Kolek at him, but just nothing happened for like four, five or six auto attacks in a row. And I was like, this game sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace, Kolek. So in our previous duel that we just saw, Kolek really dropped the ball there. Um, now we have Malice and Bellicor, where uh, let's just say both parties are going to have to have a talking to. So Bellicor drops in with a janky, janky charge, and he misses. It looks like he hits his, his charge attack there. So at this point, Bellicor has 77 melee attack at most times. Malice has 50 melee defense, 42 melee attack versus 55 melee defense of Bellicor. Um, Bellacor needs to get hit, like, four times from Malice for this to end. And Malice has a shit ton of HP, so he has to get hit a lot of times. But, uh, he's working on it, so Bellacor's putting him in the dirt. Dark Elves are up on the balance of power. His Bellacor is slapping the crap out of him. Malice just can't seem to get an attack in edgewise. Bellacor's still as healthy as the day he was born. Um, so he's just, he's vibing, he's doing fine. He's taking more damage from those shades and from Malice's abilities than from Malice's auto attack. So he's just not getting any hits. Malice is getting bodied. Balance of Power still thinks the Dark Elves have it. Bellacor takes... There he takes a good hit from Malice Dark Blade. So there you go, Malice. You finally got a hit in. Bellacor's slapping him. Malice is getting low. He's healing a little bit. Bellacor's slapping him. Malice is, is just standing there. He's T-posing. He's getting knocked over by frogs. Bellacor's getting low. Malice is getting lower. Bellacor's thinking about fighting. And he flies away for now. Malice getting a little lower, fighting the Barons of the Bog and whatnot. And Bellacor's just gonna go get rid of a Master real quick. Boop. Now we're back. Back again. Shady's back. Tell a friend. Bellacor got a little bit of healing from the Master. Now he dives back in, does that jank animation again, and misses his charge. But then he hits Malice in the face. Malice is really low health. He's down to 300. Missed attack from Bellacor. Missed attack from Bellacor, either of which would have killed Malice. Missed attack from Bellacor, misses three in a row with 80 melee attack now on the 50. Misses a fourth in a row. He's crumbling. Misses a fifth in a row. And then starts to walk away and Malice is going to hit him in the butt and kill him. So Malice started this off jank, then Bellacor turned the jank on its head, and thankfully the Barons of the Bog and the Pink Horrors here will be able to drag down the Dark Blade's last couple health, and the Demons will not lose the game off of that. But it was very, very silly. <laughs> Rawr! Subscribe, yes, yes.